morning. Welcome to Kiwi Grand Tours, day three. Good morning, uh, room service. Uh, a little cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right, well, good morning. Uh, I'll leave a cup of tea out here, so uh, face the day. What's that? Do you think it's four in the morning? Yeah, no, it's seven thirty, and uh, we've got a cloudy outlook at the front today, but uh, all looking pretty good, really. for these roads. Yeah, the roads are going to be a bit slippery. Well, here we are. We've stayed the night in Ekatahuna. It's obviously a, it's, it's usually a place where people tease you about because it seems to be way out in the Watlocks. But it's got quite a few things to offer. Um, there's a petrol station, there's a pub, there's a, there's a four-square big supermarket. And I think I had the best steak burger I've ever had at that pub. just have that little look about them with all the dirt and sheep shit on there. There's the other place that we could have stayed at but Jason decided not to. <laughs> yeah there it is, the caravan. I think you made the right choice there, that was a very good choice. Have you got all your lights on now? I have now. Yeah, cool. Kiwis can't fly, drive safe. Um, um, you would have prepared for this, obviously, with your navigation skills. I think it's further up on the left. I'm very sorry. get to go over the Anzac, well, we get to see the old Anzac Bridge um, from the First World War. Okay, maybe that was the road. Why didn't you check it before we left? Because uh, I don't do things like that, no, do I? No, you don't. No, that's not it. Oh well, we'll turn around up here because we're going to go over the wonderful Anzac Bridge. There's a car up my day. Oh. Well, I think we'll turn around. Oh, okay. This is what adventure ride is all about, isn't it, Jason? Whoa, getting lost. Um, absolutely getting lost. I was that it up there? <laughs> We'll just go up there a little bit. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. It's either that road or back to the other one. Okay, clear now. I'll just go. I'll just go off road here. Well, you're used to that. So, it was that road that we went past first. I've taken the sign down, so that's why I got confused. Okay. So we'll just we'll just double back. Little bit back here. Shingle, lots of shingle. Here we are. I did get it right. I should have gone with my instincts. So we're going to go visit my great grandfather. He was French. 
fought in the French trenches in the First World War, got gassed, came back, lived about another 18 years and died. Buried here in uh, Ekatahuna. Here he is. Victor Constant Benjamin McGee Narby. Died 3rd of the 6th, 1934. He was 49 years old. Holy moly. 34 years old. Uh, 49 years old. Um, how old are you? Older 51. than that? So you made it longer. Yep. This is what happens, unfortunately, when there have been a few generations go by and old graveyards just become unkept. Well, here we go, here's my great-grandfather, Victor Constant Benjamin McGee Narby, a French settler from Akaroa, the son of the French settler. First World War in the French trenches, got gassed by the Germans, came back, had five kids, and died at 49 years old. Here he is. All these guys you feel like saying thank you to for fighting for New Zealand, you know? In you those do. wars, you think, wow, the sacrifices they did, and in fact, in any war, the sacrifices these people did, and, and, and how they were affected when they came back home, and Absolutely. you know, it's just, it just must be devastating. It is. The sacrifices they made. Thank you very much, my granddad. Yeah, thank you. What a name, though. Victor Benjamin. No, Constant Victor Benjamin McGee Narby. They couldn't find his war records, Dad, but he finally found it because he put all his names in and everything and there was nothing there. And then Dad just thought it would be silly and put in Con, Constant, and it came up. So apparently when he turned up to sign up in Wellington, he, they said, what's your name? And he went, oh, Con Narby. Ekadahuna. Welcome to Ekadahuna. Lots of Kiwis around here. Yeah. Now, uh, on the left, someone, ooh, oh. someone told me there's a giant kiwi here, so we've got to keep an eye out. Yes, I wonder whether we'll see it or not. I don't know. Oh, there's one. Well, there's one. No. Uh, could be the one. That could be the one. Hang on. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, there's a mobile mobile laundry mat that's just sitting there, you put your FPOS card in and whack your washing in. That's unbelievable. As we headed to Pahia Tour, now Jason, uh, as our navigator and tour guide, what's famous about Pahia Tour? It's dairy farmland, um, basically, and a few sheep, but Pahia Tour is just a a farming community. I know they've got a big Ford dealership. I think the other thing that's uh, it's famous for is the aeroplane at the playground that I believe has been taken down. Oh, yes. I forgot about the aeroplane at the playground. Welcome to Play Here Tour. So they've done some major roadworks here. They've changed this around a little bit, but they're... No, it's always been like this. They've had a major change out of the mapping of the road up here. And, uh... The last time I was through here was a real mess, but... I believe they've been putting down new, um... 
sewage pipes and bits and pieces. Oh dear. Here's the new layout I was talking about. Uh, there's a calf on your left called the Black Stump. And it's for sale. Which is to oh no, it's open. He's closed, he just shook his head at me. He shook his head at you. What a rude bastard. Here's one. It looks pretty basic, basic, but we like basic. See what they're doing in here? It's all quite modernised now. Oh my god, it is. I haven't been through here for seven years. Right. That's lovely. So if you swing yours up a bit, I'll come in behind you, eh? Sorry. Yeah, I'll come in beside you. So here we are, folks, in uh, downtown Party Tour. I just changed my cameras and uh, we'll have a little look and see what's going on in here. Morning. Um, just a flat white, thank you. Yep. One, anything now? That. Yeah. 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 What's a deluxe breakfast? Up there it says deluxe breakfast. Oh, two of those then. Four deluxe breakfast. Yep. Thank you. Mr. Ling here has uh, provided, provided us with breakfast. Um, I'm having the fried, and Jason's having the poached. Is that it? Yeah. Jason, what's that noise I can hear? It's your coughing thing, man. I can't hear you, what? Coffee. Oh, sorry. Coffee. Coffee. No thanks. I'm having one. So we're inside a little place. We've got our helmets on. And there's no one else in here today, but the bikes are looking pretty good outside. Um, ready for the further adventures. And there's the famous aeroplane. And there's the famous uh, Tui House of New Zealand. Proudly brewed here since 1889. Manga Tanoka. Oh! It's a little bit of wind there. I was more concerned about the smell. Yeah, there was a bit of a smell there. Yep, it's the shortcut. Possum Fur Factory Shop. Well here we are, we're just cruising into Danny Vegas. Or as people actually call it Danny Burke. Welcome to Danny Burke from a Viking. The Vikings live here. A long way from home, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. This is probably one of the worst little townships I've been into for the amount of pedestrian crossings. So many of the pedestrian crossings. Okay, let's count them. One. This is the main street, of course, so... Oh, there's Kentucky Fried I mean, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Two. Subway on the left. Oh, on the left. Three pedestrian crossings. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, this used to be the police museum here, right in this building here. Oh. I went in there once, it was awesome. Full of police cars and police memorabilia. Four. Oh, I already 
is it for? Nice church coming up on the right hand side. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Not to English standards, of course, but... Just went past another pedestrian crossing. Oh, that was six all up. Well, there's a Viking ship. Yes, there's some sort of Viking ship there. It's a cold, miserable, cloudy sit by the fire day and watch a movie in Danny Burke. It is really, we're going to turn right here. God, where on earth are you taking me? Well there we go, here comes all the um, ducks and geese, I think I've got some bread. Yeah, they're coming here for the feed. And I'm sorry ducks, we got them out. Deer feed's in the other side, look. So there you go. A secret posse. That's amazing. Huh? No. Well, there you go. Oh, awkward. Where's all the dangerous animals? There's one. Where? It's got high vis on and a river symbol on the back of the shirt. <laughs> ha ha de ha ha. There you go. A little mystery place that we've never seen before, Jason. No, this is exciting. As Jason just clears his pannier box. Oh, shit. It's slippery there. It's very slippery. Clear left. You ever been to Dave's Den where all the toys are? No. That's amazing. Is it? Yeah. What's in there? 8,000 toys. Jesus. Do you want to have a quick look? Uh, no. <laughs> what kind of toys? Cars. Match oh. cars and. No, that's all right. Models and a whole lot of tanks. Supermodels? Yeah, models of war stuff and war and just all sorts. It won't be here forever. I think I think we should go in. Oh, you're driving in. Okay. I'm just gonna park out here. My little boy. When have I ever been good? <laughs> so Jason, this is Dave's den in Dannyburg where we're here with I think how many how many hundreds of models have you got here? Oh, we winding down quite. He's probably just under eight thousand now. Wow. Probably seven, seven. Seven. Eight and a half. Did you? Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Just decided to wind down quietly. Fair enough. Yep. Yeah, so that, this puts my main cave to shame a little bit. Okay, you're good too. That's cold. It is a bit cold, isn't it? Right, we've just been to a place called Dave's Den and seen his lifetime of collecting dinky toys and matchbox cars, I suppose. Well, he had 7,700 of them. Amazing, eh? Unbelievable. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh! What is the temperature? 
it's actually 13 and a half degrees, would you believe it? But it just feels like it feels about, too, yeah. It feels about eight or nine. That it feels colder than that two degree day. Yeah. Isn't there a road to the left just up here by these trees? I just pulled up here. There's a road right there. Oh, we're way out of the way here. Okay. Okay, now we've had a bit of rain, folks. Oh, uh, first time on the three-day trip. We've got to put bloody onesies on. And it was predicted. It was. So, am I going to get into onesies? You are. Are you sure? Oh well, I'll try out my new Scott jacket anyway. First time to actually use it in the real weather. Because what will happen is the further we go, possibly the worse it's going to get. Oh no, you've got this all hanging out. Oh shit! That's your right. A lot of heavy breathing going on. This department here as I clean your lens for you. Well here we are in the middle of... Uh, how do I look? Good. Good. Is it down? Oh, it's clearing. Oh, right, well, everyone. Take that one. Oh, you've put your little. <laughs> you put your slippers on. <laughs> That's good. I like it. Um, honestly, it's clearing. Um, That's embarrassing. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a quick, it did this last time, remember? We should have just found yeah. shelter under a tree. But it stopped raining. And it's clearing up. And now it's clearing up. There's a nice little road on the left that'll be nice and dry. So, I should just be quietly meander down there. It's clearing up. Hawks Bay is beautiful. Typical. I am not really wet down the back of my neck. Yeah, I am too. I might find a bit of shelter somewhere. Maybe I'm dreaming. Right there. Yeah, it's dry there, isn't it? We'll pop the road and just have a look. Rain? What rain? Turning. I just predict this, it's completely cleared up. How embarrassing. Oh my god, we've done that before in Rotorua once. And Gisborne. Gisborne, I mean, got all excited and then it cleared up. Yeah, but it was torrential for a moment there. Yeah. Oh, right, this is recap of what just happened we basically went through a free car wash it seems like for some reason my head won't turn left and right oh, is it because my yellow is right up on top of my helmet yep it's jamming that's good but though that, that's what you that, want this is typical we get all dressed up and nowhere to go yeah we've had that time before well right, let's just take a break and see what we can do um i need to drink anyway Feels like I've been riding all day. 